Hi YouTube, today I'm going to show you a video on how to replace the hood prop pivot hinge on your Honda vehicle. Now this particular vehicle I'm working on is a 2008 Honda Odyssey where the prop rod bushing, which is that little plastic piece that the hood prop sits in, pivots back and forth, that holds this really heavy hood up has broken loose and the prop rod doesn't stay safely in place. So the reason why I'm doing a video here to show you how to replace the hood prop pivot, I guess, hinge as what Honda calls it, is because if you actually look at my Odyssey here, the hood rod isn't even staying in place where it belongs. And this can actually be kind of dangerous because if it pops out while you're servicing the vehicle, this hood is pretty heavy and when it bangs your head, it's gonna be really nasty. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna replace this little broken plastic piece because the little fingers on it um, is actually what has broken and not holding that piece in place. So there's a close-up view of the hood prop hinge bushing, I guess we'll call it. It's always good to have a helper to help you replace this piece, but if you don't have one, then just be extra careful. How I'm going to do this is I'm going to hold the hood with one hand, just hold it open, and then I'm going to take this stupid prop rod out and carefully slide this bushing piece off. I'm going to use a pair of pliers, and I'm just going to wiggle this old one off this rod by giving it a twisting back and forth action to get it off. And you can see the broken fingers. You've got your prop rod. The idea here is that we need to push this into the bushing, this end, and then somehow get it to go at a near 90 degree angle and then get it to its final resting place, which is right here. And this is a really awkward and somewhat tight fit. So I'm just gonna lubricate the rod here with a bit of lube. Chassis lube or silicone grease is fine. And that'll just help it slide into that plastic hinge bushing a little bit better. Making sure that that bushing is still in the proper place. So I'm going to insert the rod in this weird awkward position and then just sort of manipulate it back and forth and then it should just slide right in into its proper place. And it does make a big difference when you actually lubricate it with that uh, chassis grease. So once we've got the hood prop into the bushing, and it does make a big difference by the way, when you lubricate things with that little bit of grease, that you just wanna give that rod another twist and kind of a push and pull again to make sure it's properly seated in the bushing. Clipping it into the holder here and then swinging it up to prop the hood up and there should be no binding of any sort. And if there is, either you're not properly set into this bushing or your prop could be potentially bent, causing undue stress on this piece, which ultimately causes those little teeth to break. This little part that holds up that heavy hood on a lot of different vehicles costs less than $3 to replace, but would have easily costed you $70 at your local dealership. A $3 part holding up a 30 pound hood that sits above your head while you're working on your engine bay. If that's not dangerous, I don't know what is. Get it fixed, making sure that you work safe. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, consider subscribing to my channel, and thanks for watching.